Can't even drink Cristal on this one. Holla. I got my gosh in the seven on right now. You got to puff a J to this one. Can't roll a blunt up to this one, boy. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my life in engineering series. So today I'm just going to list some skills that I think every chemical engineer should know. I honestly would have loved to know the importance of some of these skills before I even went into the workspace. So I can actively work on improving these skills early on in my career so i'm hoping this video does that for someone give them a head start that i didn't necessarily have um yeah so don't forget to like comment subscribe you know do the things and let's just get into it number one process modeling and simulation so process modeling and simulation is basically building a model that represents a technical process in a software so this model is then used to study the behavior or performance of an actual process or a theoretical process so i personally had some experience with um softwares such as coco aspen plus aft arrow and fathom so i worked with these in university as well in the workspace right now i'm working on a hydraulic simulation on aft fathom so yeah it, you really need that skill so i suggest if you are in high school just read up on some reports on how to build a model on a specific process or maybe just watch some youtube videos i found a lot of great youtube videos on this just to give you a little bit of a head start to give you some idea of what to expect um, when it comes to process modeling and simulation number two engineering or technical documentation so an example of this are process flow diagrams so process flow diagrams basically indicates the general flow of a process or equipment um, so an example of this is a block flow diagram which is less detailed versus a mechanical flow diagram so there are many types of flow diagrams and there's also many other types of engineering documentation that are important as a chemical engineer such as data sheets isometric drawings specifications that you have to adhere to when you're doing your design or whatever work that might um, need a specification number three communication so communication is a very important skill for an engineer because you have to present your ideas your concepts your designs to stakeholders or people that are going to make the big decisions and they are making these decisions based on what you communicate with them so it's very important to do it in an effective way so that they feel at ease so Communication can include presenting these ideas in meetings or presenting it in a report. I have noticed that some universities prepare their students better than others um, in terms of communication. So if you feel that you're not getting enough exposure to um, situations where you have to communicate, then I suggest that you look for internships or vacation work opportunities so that you can get some exposure and actually feel how it's like to be in that situation and how important um, communication is number four problem solving and troubleshooting so engineering has a lot to do with identifying a problem or an opportunity to optimize a process then finding ways to solve it or finding ways to optimize that specific process so obviously problem solving and troubleshooting is very important for example when i started working i did a lot of daily monitoring and making sure that things are running smoothly so if there is an upset i was required to troubleshoot problem solve find a way to fix that specific problem. I've also realized that it improves with time and experience. So I advise you not to put too much pressure on yourself if you, in the early stages of your career, I think it really does improve with time and you, you get more confident about, you know, what you propose, how you problem solved. And obviously there's a logical way of doing things and there's fundamentals that are already in place um, from university that help you with this. Which brings me to number five, data analysis. So data analysis is basically interrogating data to gain useful information that can be used to make a decision. So I don't think this is new to everyone. I feel like everyone gets exposed to this um, 
to some extent from high school onwards. Um, yeah, so it's just about improving those skills, making sure you get exposure to it in high school, in university, because in the workplace, you are going to come across it. And there you have it. Those are five skills that can be very useful in your uh, growth into your chemical engineering journey. <laughs> I'm really hoping that this really helped someone. Um, please let me know in the comments. Um, please leave some more skills that can be helpful to people that are reading the comments. You know, just share the love, share the knowledge. <laughs> yeah, guys, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, you know, do the things. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.